Hey y'all, it's The Breeze, and you're plugged into The Breeze Lifestyle. It's been a minute, but do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and follow your girl on her socials, you know, me. <laughs> But um, The Breeze Lifestyle 777 on Instagram, The Breeze Lifestyle 777 on TikTok, okay? And if you're not subscribed, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. This is going to be a life update. <sighs> yeah, I'm just trying to keep my spirits up because today just, it's just been a day. It's been a time. It's been a time. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to try to do my best to keep my composure. Now, if you see that my little baby here is just tucked back. Just keep that between me and you. Ain't nobody got to know, okay? Like I said, I've been I, I've been trying to make this video for a long time. Um, but today, some things happened. And I'm like, man, like, I got to. I got to. So, it's a life update video. I'm sorry, y'all. My hat is a little too tight. Oh, it's hurting me. Y'all know I got a big head. But if it's too loose, it'd be looking weird. Okay, there we go. But anyway, excuse my appearance. Like I said, I ain't really... I'm definitely going to do better with being cute for my videos. Because I feel like y'all want that for me. Um, But right now, it's just like either be cute or... And we're going to talk more about that in a minute. But let me start the video off like this. Um, Today, I just found out that one of my childhood friends that I've known since I was eight years old, she's 29 and she died. Um, I'm in Georgia, they in Delaware. So it's like, you know, when, when something's going on, you get bits and pieces of information. Um, but from what I understand, she was at work and she had a heart attack. And... Just before I go further, just gotta say rest in peace and Lord just bless her soul. Cause this life ain't promised and neither is the next eternal life. So, but we ain't even gonna get into all of that. Um, rest in peace, Kwanisha, AK Kwan Don. Oh, it's just like, oh, it's so surreal. Like it's the stuff I'm not really used to, or I haven't had a lot of people who I was close to pass away. So, um, just just even talking about it. I knew it was gonna be weird to talk about it but if not now when like I'm not about to keep push like I'm literally God is showing me that life ain't guaranteed long life is not guaranteed what is you waiting for what are you waiting for so um let me just give you all a little life update then I'm gonna tell y'all my plans for the future so um that's something that happened to me and like I said it just happened today a few hours ago that I just found out um I moved. Ah, so if you see the new background, this is my desk. You can't see all of it, but it's a little sneak peek because I'm going to be showing y'all. I'm actually in my new studio space um, and I'm just really excited about it. So when you see the green background, that's because I, I don't like to say hate. I very much appreciated the fact that I had shelter over top of my head and my child and my family is safe, you know? But I couldn't wait to get up out of there. <laughs> I could not wait to get up out of there. I was not motivated. I was in the slums, damn near, you feel me? And I just could not be creative. I could not be consistent. I could not, but when I bought that, um, when I bought that backdrop, it was like, man, we doing this. We ain't waiting for us to get another house. We starting this right now. And that was a year ago. So here we are. Now, I've been saying that um, I was going to do this because my birthday was in January. So my whole point was to do a breezeuary or something like that. You know, something like how they do Vlogmas. I wanted to do uh, something like that for my birthday. But baby, it's about an hour away from being May 1st. What is you doing? Like, I done skipped all these months, a whole season, and I'm just now, like, recording. Like, if this is really what I believe I'm supposed to be doing, why am I playing with it? That's where I'm at with it right now. Like, I'm just looking at life differently because I'm 31. 
I grew up with this person and they life ain't life no more. You know, everything they, everything that they did is all that's going to be remembered. Like, you know, and I just really, I really need to do more. So uh, I'm just really putting my best foot forward because I don't sit around. I have a strong relationship with God and we'll get into all of that another time because people don't understand the difference between relation and re relationship and religion. And I feel like that's the whole video in itself. But I don't even know if y'all really want to know, but this is the Breeze lifestyle. But anyway, I don't sit around like, why God? Why this? Why are you doing that? Why would this happen to this person? I understand I'm not going to have all the answers. But if I truly walk by faith, if I truly know it's by his stripes that I'm healed, if I truly know that this is the only God and this is the all-knowing, all-powerful, all-seeing God, like, I have to live in that and understand that everything has a purpose, whether I understand it or not, you know? And I do know that this world is wicked. And I do know that when you die, like, it's a lot of things you don't have to deal with anymore. And if you write with God, you gonna be all right. So I just pray everybody get right with God today because we don't know about tomorrow, period. Um. So anyway, I didn't write anything down, y'all. I was supposed to be more organized with this video, but I really want to get it out. And I really want to, like, not even wait for tomorrow. Like, I don't, after what I just found out, I don't even want to wait for tomorrow for nothing. Like, I just want to do it. And I felt like I was going to give raw emotion. And I'm not dressed to impress. I don't have a bunch of followers. So I don't even know if people are going to care about this video. I'm doing this for me. Because when I go back and I look and see what's going on in my life and I see how I pushed and I kept going, it's going to motivate me. And hopefully it motivates you too. But at the end of the day, I got to worry about motivating myself because... You already know why, period. The same way you got to motivate yourself because without you, what else matters? Not like that, but like, how can I do the things that I want to do? How can I help the people I want to help? If I'm not pushing myself to do the things I know need to be done to get those things done. So another life update for me is, I was in a little relationship. <laughs> I was in a little relationship and I feel like that may have contributed to my non-motivation to be sitting here alone with you. Um, but don't do that because I'm single now. <laughs> like that little relationship lasted a hot little, it was not crock pot and it was not on the stove. It was not in the oven. It was definitely giving, put your pizza in the air fryer. Okay, it wasn't necessarily microwavable, almost. It was more like put your pizza and your leftovers in the air fryer for a good five minutes. Like, you know. Um, so don't ever lose yourself in somebody else. Like, you should be able to fully operate and do the things that you believe is your purpose while being with somebody who you, you think you're supposed to be with. So, yeah, anyway. But yeah, what I was going to say earlier is... I am trying to be healthy. I have not been eating meat for, well, when I say meat, I mean everything besides seafood. So I've been eating just seafood for three weeks now. I have created a home gym. I have probably been in the gym minus last week, um, probably a good three to four days a week. And I'm just trying to be healthier i'm trying to look good feel good and be more structured with my schedule and the things that i do but i am not at the point in my life that i can work out what am i doing that i can work out meal prep be consistently um not just work for my nine to five but also working for myself Raise a child and be cute all the time. I ain't there yet. That's why I got these braids in. So I can wake up, wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to the gym. 
So I can wake up, <laughs> wash my face, brush my teeth, and get it popping. Because doing my hair every day, it just, it honestly discourages. It might sound like the craziest thing, but it discourages me. Because it's like, man, I don't even feel like doing that part. So if I know all I got to do is wake up, wash my face, and brush my teeth, I'm more prone to get up and, and do what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, so I'm just not at the point where I'm even trying to be cute. Like, I, man, listen. <laughs> man, listen. Say, <laughs> but no, for real, I feel like a hustler. And when I say hustler, I mean, like, when a dude hustling, and he ain't even worried about new clothes. When, now mind you, I'm still taking a bath, but he ain't even worried about taking a bath. He wearing the same clothes three, four days in a row because he on them streets. He ain't even worried about getting no haircut. He ain't even worried about doing none of that because only thing on his mind is the, the pack. It's the pack and the stack. I ain't got no pack, but all I'm worried about is the stack. Like not even like money wise, but just, Stacking this content on top of each other, creating a catalog. Stacking other streams of revenue. Stacking knowledge. Stacking wisdom. Stacking relationship with God. Like, just stacking those type of things. Because I'm not disciplined. I made a video about how to be disciplined. Watch it. I probably need to go watch it too. But it's like... <laughs> Don't be looking at these YouTubers thinking they got it all together. It's it's kind of easy to sit here and, and motivate you and tell you this, this, and that. It's a whole nother ball game to consistently be on this, this, and that. Like, and that's what I'm desperate. Don't don't think I'm trying to play you. I'm talking to you, motivating you as I'm trying to motivate myself. So I'm just trying to get to the point where I wake up at seven o'clock every morning and go to the gym, read my Bible and pray. I'm trying to read my Bible and pray before I go to the gym, but nonetheless, do all of that before I even start my day. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not too tired after work and I got a structured schedule so I can edit my videos, so I can make my content, so I can do this and do that. I'm trying to get there. But what I'm not about to do is do it for y'all. When I say that, I mean... Every time I'm trying to do this thing, got to get real cute for Instagram, got to get real cute for YouTube, and I'm not actually really doing these things. I want it to be to the point where I'm doing it, and then I'm just bringing y'all with me. Like, because I already got the routine, now I just got to do it with a camera. What's that? But right now, I can't do it with the camera, because baby, I be ugly. Like, I, I'm surprised I'm sitting here like this. So let me just tell you this. Because I wasn't going to mention this because I don't like talking about things that are in the crock pot. It's not done yet. Got the ingredients. It's in there. It's cooking. But it's not ready to serve. I don't like to tell people nothing until I be like, yo, you got to play? Okay, I got you here. That's what that is. Taste that. What's that like? Okay, all right. But for you, for you, for you. Hold on. Am I looking at the room? For you. Yeah. Period. For you, because you here, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. So, I ain't going to give you too, too much detail. But it's about three things that... Now, mind you, first things first is the Breeze lifestyle. My mission is to create a solid foundation, to create consistency, to really give y'all what y'all need. is a little motivation and some entertainment. That's what I'm here for. So, that's what I really just want to really build my brand. Or not... I don't even want to say build. Create a solid foundation for my brand. Um, but there are three things that align with my brand and things that I'm trying to do that are really in the works. Um, one thing is like a nonprofit thing um, to, I'll just say, to benefit the youth. Um, one thing is, one thing has to do with travel. And one thing has to do with, music <laughs> so yeah um these are just things that are in the crock pot and they're gonna be great things they're gonna be great things and i'll probably like when i because i'm gonna get too ahead of myself but you'll probably hear more about these things as they continue to get ready to be served before they actually get served because 
my YouTube gonna get a lot of things first before Instagram, before, you know, Instagram might get a snippet, but YouTube is really where I come to really just give it all to you. Like, just give it all to you, okay? Um, but yeah, so those are some three things. Those are some three things. Those are three things that I'm working on. Like I said, nonprofit for the youth and music and travel. Those are things that I'm actually really passionate about. Um, and yeah, so I don't even want this video to be too long. I'm trying to bring you variety, give you hour long videos, give you 15 minute videos, give you shorts, give you different things. And I'm going to eventually ask y'all like, how's it going and what y'all like? Um, but so what I have planned is to be consistent and to actually at least post once a week. I know that don't sound like a lot. But I do got a lot of things going on. And I got a nine to five. That ain't changed. I still got a nine to five. So this ain't making me no money. I don't have enough money to even be making money on YouTube. So I just want you to genuinely know I ain't doing this for the money. When the check come, the check gonna get cashed, okay? But I'm doing this because I really, I love doing this. Like, I like, I love making videos and seeing them <laughs> start from dun to dun. I love that. Editing, I like it. I like being in control of how things are produced. Um, but I don't necessarily like sitting there for hours and hours editing videos. It's cool. If I was getting paid to do this all day, every day, Cool, but with the annoyance of my nine to five that I'm thankful for, then coming home and having a child and also just wanting to chill sometimes, trying to add editing multiple videos inside of that is a lot. But this is my passion. This is really what I want to do. End goal for me, not even end goal, I would say five year goal is to have my own production studio. So I really want to be in the mix with this. So I'm trying to do it for myself first or not trying. I am doing it for myself first. So eventually I could do it for other people. Um, but that's future breeze right now. Today breeze. What I'm doing today is I'm pushing out content for y'all. That's what I'm doing. I want to give y'all travel vlogs. I want to give y'all weekend vlogs, weekly vlogs. I want to give y'all motivational talks. I want to give y'all different things. And once I have what I'm doing, then I ask what else do y'all want? But I really want to start with this positive entertainment. So um, some things, and I'm going to be doing story time. So I, I love sitting here telling stories because it's like, I ain't really got no friends for real. So I really enjoy sitting in front of my camera. I really like when y'all communicate and interact with me because it really makes me feel like we homegirls or home homies, whatever. Like, um, so yeah, so definitely want to continue to just give y'all my lifestyle. I really don't do too much, but I did promise God that if he gave me the space to produce. I would produce, because like I said, that apartment, I could not really produce. I really couldn't. I couldn't carry my camera around and be like, hey guys, it because I was embarrassed. Don't get me, like, embarrassed. Social media, I don't be like consumed with it, but there are some things that subconsciously, it just happens. I don't think like i'm sitting here with no furniture i'm gonna show y'all videos of me doing different things and you're gonna see ain't no furniture baby i got an air mattress okay that's a whole nother story but anyway i'm not expecting to be here but i don't want y'all to see me right here y'all gonna see me right here that's what i'm comfortable with because when I'm at my low, low, when I'm at the bottom, it's just me and God. I be walking by faith. I don't need nobody to be talking to me. I don't need nobody to be see seeing me doing nothing. It's me and my father. But I ain't going to wait till I'm up here to show you. Just give me a little traction. Like, let me get a little bit up there out this mud real quick. And that's where I'm at. This house is like the best house I ever lived in in my life. So I don't care what other people mansions looking like. I don't care what other people got in that aspect. But when you're in a place that you don't even want to be there, 
I'm not about to be on YouTube and recording this showing everybody how I'm living. Nah, because nobody would have known. Nobody who knows me knows really, really what I was going through. So I like that. I like to just go through it with me and God because I know that's the only person that really got me and can really handle me physically and spiritually. Like, you know, physically he provides for me. And spiritually, he provides for me. Like, anyway. So that's my life update. And then also just, I be just trying to talk to y'all, give y'all the real, so y'all really see the character. Like this, my real name is Brielle. The Breeze is my character. But Brielle and the Breeze probably about this much different. Like, <laughs> this much different. Just because if it wasn't for the Breeze, the way y'all about to see me try to get these lashes and keep my eyebrows done and might try to play in some makeup, might not. But the way I'm going to be trying to dress up and be cute and da 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 that's the breeze. Like, Brielle, at 31, in a state that hardly don't nobody know me, baby, it's this. But at the end of the day, ain't no alter ego. This is this. She is me. I am her. I just turn it up a little notch because the breeze is the brand, period. But anyway, I, I said I wasn't trying to be too long. But if you know, you know. <laughs> but thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate it. You don't understand. Just making this video, even though it started out rough for me, I'm just really honestly proud of myself. I've probably been down here recording for a good 30, 45 minutes. And I'm about to go work out. So, yeah. I'm just thankful that you were here and I thank you for supporting me if you're still here after my little hiatus. I, if you're new, I thank you for even clicking on the video. But anyway, this is The Breeze. You've been plugged into The Breeze Lifestyle. Thank you again for watching and have a good one. Bye.